السلام عليكم dear friends I am engineer Saifullah and you are watching Saifullah engineer at site youtube channel so guys today I am going to show you in this practical site video how to inspect steel for the staircase here we have three elements landing of the staircase steps of the staircase and there is a one beam in the landing of the staircase so one by one I will show you how to inspect that landing steps beam what you have to check what are the most important parts to be checked and during the inspection and how you will check the steel bar with the approved sharp drawing which i have in my uh, hand here you can see this is the drawing for the this uh, staircase so one by one i will show you how to inspect the steel for the staircase but if you are a new viewer so please subscribe to our youtube channel like the video and share it with your friend for such a practical videos about civil engineering quality engineering in Saudi Arabia so let's start the video so dear friend here you can see the steps of the staircase and that is the landing of the staircase but here you can see the plastic cover for the steel why I cover the steel because nowadays the weather in Saudi Arabia is cold and sometimes it's raining at night time so to cover the steel to avoid the rust and then avoid the corrosion because of rust so we have to cover the steel with the plastic directly in one night or one day it, the corrosion will not start but it is better to cover the steel with the plastic if there is a chances for raining so now I will remove the plastic and I will show you the steps and landing of the staircase so let's start here you can see the dews very clearly it's come at night time so if I didn't cover the steel with the plastic so maybe this dew will come directly with the steel and it will affect the quality of steel in the form of rust and that rust can lead to the corrosion so the better thing nowadays whenever you have a steel fabricated or it without fabrication so you have to cover with the plastic to not affected by the dew at night time or also if you have forecast for the rain so you have to also cover the steel because when it's raining at night it's the steel are not covered with the plastic or something else so it will affect the quality of steel directly so the better thing nowadays it should be covered with the plastic when you are leaving the site so guys here you can see this is the beam how you will inspect this mesh is belong to the steel uh, landing but downside this is the beam so here you can see the beam first you have to check the distance between two steels everywhere in steel inspection like and then you have to check the number of steels using in the top bars and all in the bottom bar so in the top bar we have three 16 mm steel so one two three it's okay downside we have also three steel bar like one two and three so three you have three steel we have at top and three we have at the bottom after that you have to check the center to center distance between two bars then you have to check the concrete cover on both side of the beam at the other side bar so you have to check but here we don't have any side bar and also you have to check the cover downside which is already provided and you have to see the cleaning so there are some dirt and so also before concrete we have to remove these dots the most important thing you have to be check the concrete level like when you are going to for a concrete level so the survey for concrete casting survey we have to provide sticks steel sticks to which will show the concrete level like for it should be provided here it will show that to which level they have to cause the concrete and with that level they have to uh, ca cast the concrete till that level that is a guidance for the people who are casting the concrete so till now they didn't provide the concrete level sticks and now this is the landing of the staircase so the same thing in the inspection you have to check that the steel bar is per the diameter of the steel bar is per approved shot drawing center to center the distance between this steel and this Steel. this is called center to center distance center to center distance should be as per approved sharp drawing you have to check the number of steel like from that area till 
that area that the number of steel provided should be as per approved shop drawing and the diameter of the steel should be also as per approved shop drawing so here you can see now another important thing for you you know guys when there is a old concrete and new concrete so we have to provide construction joint so here see this is the old concrete and here we have to cast the new concrete so there will be a construction joint so how we will provide the construction joint between the old concrete and new concrete we will provide a pillar board so when we provide the pillar board this that will be a joint and it's called the construction joint so the joint between the old concrete and new concrete is called construction joint so in this area there will be one construction joint and also in this area we have also one construction joint here you can see some steels are looking rusty so before casting to concrete you have to clean all these steel to remove the rusty color from the steel and also you have to clean the area before casting the concrete have to check the distance between two steel bars uh, center to center distance it should be uniform and look like good here you can see in this area they didn't provide the concrete cover so here you have uh, in such a situation you have to call the site engineer to provide a concrete cover in this area because in some areas looking more in some areas looking more some areas not looking good so before starting concrete you have to check that they provide a proper concrete cover here which is uh, in this in this area it's round about from 2.5 cm to 3 cm and also here you can see that this center to the center distance in this area is more here it's okay but here it's more so you have to check the center to center distance properly if it's more than the approved shop drawings too you have to ask them to rectify it here you can see here and this area is too much because this is a beam steel this is a slab steel for the landing so the center from here it's more than that it should be 15 centimeter but they brought it more so they will rectify it before the concreting inshallah so after that we will go to the concrete steps now then you have to check the height height the chairs and this dimension of the chairs so if it's matching with the sharp drawings approved sharp drawings so it means it will be passed and you have to check also the covers the covers for they here they didn't provide the covers here as you can see that so they have to provide the covers in these areas otherwise the inspection will be rejected because if there is no concrete uh, cover and they cause the concrete for this area so the steel will be visible which is not acceptable in any cost now let me go down here in all the area they didn't prepare it yet because they didn't provide the steel bar the concrete cover here you can see the space is more space is more in some area the space is not there in some area the steel is touching the form work so this is not acceptable and that you can see in that area they had to clean it without cleaning they cannot cause the concrete for this area so guys this is a short video to show you how to inspect the steel for the staircase and the second thing you have to also count this chairs bar for the steps from that area till that end because the number of chair bar should be same and the center to center distance between two chair bar should be same like the distance from here to this chair this is called center to center distance let's count it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty so okay this is good the number of chairs are okay but in some areas there is a variation in the center to center distance here is more in this area you can see it more in that area it's okay so they have to check and change it again if there is any variation in the center to center distance so these were some small tips and a small video for you to check how to check the steel installation for a staircase landing up the staircase and if you have any comment any question and if you need if you know more about more funds about how to check the steel 
स्टेयर केयर्स लैंडिंग एंड सो यू कैन कमेंट इट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन थैंक यू सो मच